Okay, this video is Thomas Seyfried, this cancer researcher here. He learns about cancer using glutamine, the amino acid glutamine, as a major fuel for cancer growth. And like he finally learns this. This was kind of known a while ago. Um, and glutamate also feeds into the same pathway for Krebs cycle and for being used for multiple purposes. Um, so Seyfried did a lot of research, and he's a smart guy. He's done a lot of good research on helping to establish the metabolic theory of cancer. Um, and what he realized in his more recent research is that cancer can live on glutamine, the amino acid glutamine alone. Well, that's a big deal because it means that protein is a major problem uh, for feeding cancer. He also learned that, you know, the cancer doesn't even need any glucose. It can live just on the glutamine amino acid. Glutamine is the favorite amino acid for cancer. But again, glutamate feeds into the same pathway. That's why excess glutamate is a bad thing. Okay, that's another reason besides being an excitotoxin. Now, Seafree, he still thinks that ketone bodies are a good way to treat cancer. And he wants to lower the dietary amount of glucose and glutamine. But I think that's stupid because, you know, the brain needs glucose. The red blood cells need glucose. The kidney needs glucose. There's other parts of the body that need glucose. You can't just mess with glucose that easily. Um, and also, uh, Seafried has definitely not seen my video. I made a video about the, worst, the reverse Warburg effect that was figured out by Michael Lasanti. And in the reverse Warburg effect, the cancer cells are feeding on ketone bodies. So, you know, treating ketone bodies, using ketone bodies to treat cancer, not a good idea. They were described as being a major super fuel for cancer, ketone bodies, okay? So I'm not buying this ketone body idea. And also, I think that the cancer industry probably knows this because, you know, they're like the big giant mafia. They're not going to let some sea-free guide come along and show better treatment for cancer. So if he's wrong, they'll let him spout off because it'll just be a waste of people's time. But if he was right, they wouldn't let him talk about it would be my expectation. Okay, so here's uh, Michael Asante's paper about the reverse Warburg effect where he shows that in this paper, you'll see the illustration if you decide to look at it. He shows that cancer cells feeding on ketone body. You can just go on YouTube. I'll put the link in the description below if I can find it. The Michael Lasanti lecture on reverse Warburg effect. Okay, and then here's another paper. Well, actually, here's one of the Michael Lasanti papers showing how the reverse Warburg effect, the fibroblast, I believe it is, they're sending ketones over to the cancer cell for the cancer to grow. So lactating ketone bodies, they ship them over to the cancer cell to help it grow. So that's an important point. So you're not going to win the game with, uh, with ketone bodies. Here's a paper coming out of China about the reverse Warburg effect in cancer. Okay, so anyways, I thought that was a little bit interesting. The bottom line is you're not going to win the game with cancer feeding it ketone bodies. It doesn't make sense. Okay, and you can't ignore all these protein issues. You want to minimize dietary protein.